Arriving in Muhajiriya means stepping out of Sudanese government's control. In the desolate area in southern Darfur, virtually autonomous by the force of arms, our hosts were the rebels. The Sudan Liberation Movement is the largest rebel group in Darfur. Our 45,000 men are always ready. Ready and media happy, they wanted to show their force. But in fact, they're in charge here. A sort of mini-state whose leader is also called Mini. Ever since he signed peace with the government, Minni Minnawi stayed in Khartoum as advisor to the Sudanese president. But contrary to the provisions of the agreement, Minnawi's SLA rebels never integrated in the national army. The government accuses them of spreading lawlessness in Darfur. They accuse the government of disrespecting the peace agreement. This is not a serious government. They have committed several violations during the last two years since the agreement was signed. And before only two months, Muhajiriya was attacked a second time. The Sudanese army attack on SLA forces in Muhajiriya last year was a watershed incident. And ever since, animosity between the two sides has reached unprecedented levels. None of them can now cross into the other side's area of control. This is the center of Muhajiriya, the town that the Minni Minawi's faction consider the capital of their liberated territories in southern Darfur. This is the only faction that has signed a peace agreement with the Khartoum government more than two years ago. But signs of peace here are hard to see, and the rebels consider themselves still in an undeclared state of war. Fighting broke out recently between SLA rebels and the new armed group called the Free Will. Its members from the Burgu tribe allege Muhajiriya belongs to them but it was occupied by Minawi Zagawa rebels. Both Burgud and Zagawa are of African ethnic origin. But Minawi's SLA consider the free will a sham. I'm surprised when people talk of the so-called the free will movement. These are just names made up by the government. They are sitting in Niala and places like Silaya, which are under the government's control. They are part of the government. Amid this chaos, the people of Muhajiriya are in dire economic straits. The market is empty, unemployment is rife, basic infrastructure non-existent. The people are furious even toward their own man in Khartoum, Minni Minawi. Until now, this Abuja peace which they talk about has not reached us. Peace means schools, pharmacies, water, development. We haven't seen any of that. We don't know why the SLA leaders are in Khartoum. They seem to be comfortable there while we are at war over here. They continue to tell us to be patient, but patience has brought us nothing. But now he was able to maintain a visible force on the ground. But many of his field commanders protested against his ambiguous situation in Khartoum. Some even broke ranks with his movement and formed their own militia. And people at the grassroots level in Darfur do not seem inspired by the example he set. A state of half peace, half war, which they say has extracted them neither from conflict nor from destitution. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Southern Darfur. And there's more on the crisis in Darfur in a special Sudan series of Inside Story with Imran Ghada. It is on air at 17.30 GMT, around eight hours from now.